This is a patient who has pectus excavatum, or sometimes known as a funnel chest. The first thing to notice is that the right heart border is indistinct, and there is an increased density projected over it, and this is due to the pectus excavatum. One thing you should also note is that the anterior ribs tend to be more obliquely orientated than in normal chest radiographs. And as a consequence of this, the posterior ribs tend to be a little bit more horizontal. If you look on the lateral view, you can see that the sternum is depressed. Here is the sternum here. And it's clearly depressed with respect to the anterior chest wall. It should be noted, however, that this diagnosis should actually be made clinically, simply because it can be made clinically and to do a lateral chest radiograph is unnecessary radiation. So, coupled with an x-ray that appears like this, with a patient who clearly has pectus excavatum clinically, this is all that is required. This is a patient who has got right middle lobe collapse. You can see that the right heart border is obscured and there is increased density over the right mid zone. The lateral clearly demonstrates that the horizontal fissure and the oblique fissure on the right side have come together. And the triangular density here is the collapse of the middle lobe. Note also that the ribs are not as horizontal posteriorly as they are with a pectus excavatum, nor are the anterior ribs uh, in an oblique fashion. The main differential diagnosis on the PA film is of a middle lobe collapse. This illustrates that the normal film, you can clearly see the right heart border, in the patient with pectus it is abnormal and hazy and you can see that the orientation of the ribs is uh, significantly different from that of a normal chest x-ray or from a chest x-ray demonstrating right middle lobe collapse.